You know, it's hard to maneuver with one hand. I know. Look at that, I'm running into stuff. I know, right? I don't know, I may not, I might not be able to vlog y'all today because I can't keep the thing on. But me and my mom took the boys to the mall. Really, we came to the mall to get out. We were just stuck in, but it's raining. How do y'all vloggers do this with one hand? I can't even. Okay, I'm putting y'all down because it ain't even worth it today. Okay, that's better. I had to stop because I can't record and, and uh, push my hands. This hand is messed up. Ever since I left the hospital, this hand has been messed up. It hurts really bad. But did anybody wear gangster Nikes growing up? <laughs> we had these right here. Remember my mm -hmm. when Dad came home and he brought all these. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I think somebody robbed the train <laughs> because we had so many of those shoes, and those shoes were very popular. I don't see any high top Nikes. Oh, this is all they have right here, Mom. And I know Daddy don't like that shoe. That's an ugly shoe for a hundred dollars. No, they don't have it. They don't have it. But yeah, if you had any gangster Nikes growing up, leave a comment. We had all black and white. Were they all black and white? I remember. I didn't know it was all black and white. We had so many of them. It didn't make no sense. We had, when I say a lot of them, it wasn't like we all had like one a piece. My dad had like 40 pairs. That's how I know somebody robbed a train. But back where, where I'm from, they used to rob trains all the time. Not us, not my dad. But like, if you come up on a lick, yeah, I want to get them shoes from you. I remember they robbed a whole caboose of Jordans and they was coming to my they were coming to my school and they were looking at people's shoes and making them take their shoes off or they were arresting them on the spot for having those Jordans. Yeah, crazy. You know, Apollo came to my house with some sandals on like this. At that moment I knew he was gonna be able to barbecue. <laughs> Talking about what need to come out. What you say? It's an open the door. Yeah, we're about to go. Why you look so confused? You're crazy. You're crazy. Oh, your hair looking good, girl. Yeah. And I like this one a lot. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. You see? It's all pretty, but. It's all like a belly. And then the back. Let's see. What I do is tone it up, lose me a little bit more weight. I'm gonna probably lose about. I'm gonna try to lose about 30 pounds. But I maybe just lose like 20. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose like 30 pounds, and I'd be where I wanna be. <laughs> What's what? It's, it's a that camera. Yes. Jeez. Bye. Zoe is, of course, knocked out. She's been asleep this entire time. It's, it's, stuck, in, it's stuck in the car. It's stuck in the car? It's stuck in the car. Well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I'm sorry. Say, but back up. Back up? I can eat some chicken. Uh, Zion. I can eat some chicken. You dropped your candy? He mad because he dropped his candy. Sorry. Why oh, you drop it? Mm -mm. I can't keep giving you my candy. Mm -mm. He gonna be mad because I ain't giving him no more. But now he's supposed to have candy. I know I can sleep during the day. She just days. I understand. <laughs> I understand, mommy. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah. I know, Daddy. Ain't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. I just love her. Zoe, I love my Zoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm your pop pop. I am Papa. That's right, boy. I'm Papa.